Hello everyone, so today we're going to take a look at the first unofficial Cyanogen mod 12 build by F4K from Mesa Developers Forums. Of course, this build is based off the latest Android 5.0 version Lollipop. So basically in this video I'm going to show you how to install this and then we're going to take a quick look and see how it works. Now according to some people's reviews, it is very smooth and overall it's a great experience for the Galaxy S4 Mini. So let's see. So in order to install this you need to have a custom recovery and you also need to have the uh, Cyanogen Mod 12 uh, build package and the GFs package. You can download all of these from the link in the description. Once you have downloaded all of these, power off your phone. Now once the phone powers off, hold the home button, the volume up and the power at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Now I'm using Phil's touch, but the, uh, the steps which you need to perform are pretty much the same. Choose wipe data first. Now in my case, I have the ability, the option to choose clean to install a new ROM. So this is what I'm going to choose, but you can just choose wipe data factory list as well. And there we go, it's done as you can see. Now choose install zip. Then choose zip from either SD card if it's in, in your internal storage or if it's on your SD card, choose storage SD card one. In my case, it is in my SD card. So now you need to look for it. Here it is, CM12, choose that and choose yes to confirm. You may just ignore this error message here, just wait for the installation to be complete. And it says install from SD card complete. Now head back and once again choose, uh, choose it from storage SD card 1 or storage SD card. And now install the GFs package, otherwise you won't have any Google applications. So let's see, um, we have the ones which we need, oh, here it is 5.0. And once again be patient for the zip file to be installed and the installation is complete. Press the back button to go back to the main menu and finally choose reboot system now. And that's pretty much it. Now you just need to be patient for the ROM to boot up. And so here we are at the setup wizard and for some reason it has detected my language and it says a welcome in my language. Anyways I'm just gonna choose English. And yeah as you can see everything looks totally different now. Um, compared to KitKat, I mean the whole um, design and everything else, the UI as you can see here, the images and everything else, it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna skip these things for now. And it's kind of weird how I choose English yet it still displays the language in Bulgarian. And so finally here we are on the home screen. So let us take a look at the app drawer. So these are the applications that you get so far. Uh, you also do not get a file manager which is why I downloaded this OI file manager application. I have downloaded Antutu benchmark as well to see what kind of score we'll get compared to Cyanogen Mode 11. So yeah, this is what the app drawer looks like. Let us head into settings. And as you can see it runs very smooth because it is running on Art and not Dalvik, which is what the previous versions such as KitKat, Jellybean and others were running on. Anyways, let us head into About Phone. And as you can see, Android version 5.0. We are running Lollipop. So I cannot go full detail on what are the changes on this new Android version, but I'm just going to give you a quick look at what it looks like. So let us take a look at the notification screen. You also get this button here to go to the toggles and this is what they look like. We also have the ability to cast our screen using Chromecast to our TV. And here is the screen off animation. It is not the old CRT animation. It actually fades to black and white before the screen completely fades out. Uh, take a look closely. This is the screen of animation and this is the walk screen. As you can see we have shortcuts here for the camera uh, to dial someone and the uh, key walk over there. And by the way another thing which I forgot to mention is that the camera for now is not working. But hopefully in the future we have it working and uh, also the developer previously mentioned that in the first build he couldn't get the radio interface layer working which is what you, with, which is uh, for the signal for the mobile data making calls and so on and as you can see currently it's working just fine. So lastly, let us uh, take an Antutu benchmark test and compare it to Synergy Mode 11. So I'm gonna skip all of these and I'll be back once the test has been completed. 
and the benchmark test is complete. Now on my previous uh, Sinog Mod 11 build I got a score of 20,302. Let's take a look at what uh, kind of score we, we've gotten here. So this is way more as you can see and on the Sinog Mod build I was also running on ART, on ART. But as you can see this uh, new Android version gives quite an improvement to our device in terms of performance. So that's pretty much it for now. If you want to download this uh, custom ROM, visit the link in the description. Once again, huge thanks to F4K from the developer forums for uh, compiling this build. And that is all everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future. Also, I would highly recommend to check out this other channel that I have. I do app reviews. I comment on things, I show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff, so yeah, you can check it out if you like. Once again, thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.